After executing the murder, the Baron found himself still holding a single piece of incriminatory evidence. His finished cigar. He knew that leaving it at the crime scene would raise suspicion, but he didn't have the time to properly dispose of it. So out of desperation, he threw it into his fountain, out of the sight of his guests and any snooping police. On that note, we unanimously, we unanimously find the defendant, Dame Catherine de Mayo, to be not guilty. Confetti! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought the goody-goody thing was an act. But you actually don't know. All right, I'll spell it out for you. Oh boy. Baron isn't the only one with claws. I murdered Monsieur Cranoui. was looking at that was like please only stream the first part of this was back when they had first released it from Kickstarter so it was more of a please don't be a dick and spoil it for people mm. because I also found out in the same thread that there are multiple endings Ooh. oh so I'm not sure what triggers what ending I just know that multiple are available figure it Me out too. from there. Should just be able to hit continue. Uh oh, cutscene. Buttons now. Buttons is a cutscene. <laughs> Palais du Louvre. Oh god, here we got the French. Are we live? Yeah. Yes, we are. No one told me. I I said I'm going live. Okay, I got scared because I was like, oh no, it's starting without everyone. That's a fox. <laughs> Are added. Oh god. Arresting the Spaniard. <laughs> oh, a murder in the Louvre. I think, maybe. It's hard it's hard to tell with the fact that these animals have human hands. <laughs> I deeply hate. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 getting over to Button Stream. Also, I would politely request that we not make me the Spaniard. Are you sure? You seem to enjoy doing accents a lot. Nobody needs to hear how I can't pronounce Spanish. <laughs> or anything remotely close to it. Aww. Aww, the closest I get is the rrr, and that's it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I knew Falcone wouldn't feel like turning up to the office on Friday. Oh, especially after that terrifying revelation. But now it's midday on Monday and there's still no sign of him. This is becoming a little concerning. Hey, it's hungover. I'm gonna just find him in a ditch. Oh. You wanna go look for him or just wait? I think we should go look for him because I feel like he's in a ditch. <laughs> he's drunk in a ditch. Me. Yeah, yeah. mood. I should probably go find him. His home- wait, is this not his house? No, I this is their office. office. I swear to god, I thought that he just fucking lived here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought, you know- it's He's like, not Phoenix. Baker Street. <laughs> He's not Phoenix. Thank you, Coco. <laughs> hey, Binks. Oh, hi, Binks. Hello, Binks. Uh, okay. His home would be a good place to start, but the bird brain never gave me his address. Well, then you can't look for his house. But the bird brain? Uh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'll just have to find him the hard way. I actually, like, in the middle of reading that sentence, I'm like, oh my god, does that say the bird way? <laughs> I was gonna be like, excuse me, Sparrison? What the fuck does that mean? Okay. <laughs> you have... La Conciergerie, Chateau Crinière, Palais de Justice, Justice, whatever. Just ice. Yeah. Justicia. Oh. Down with ice. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> political up of this bitch and hasn't even been I mean... like two minutes. <laughs> God. They were doing raids apparently the other night. Oh. Nah. Yeah. Why? Thanks, Chicago. I know, Biggs. It's not even two minutes into the stream and we're already political. It's a new record. But you get us Sometimes like a little. It's gotta be like that. Somebody get us a little countdown wheel that we can put over my face, and then you don't see me until we get political. <laughs> um, y'all, yo, you want to get political? I went to the fucking DMV right before the stream. Yeah, the DMV, the ultimate of politics. Oh God, I hate. I Pick I have. Uh, I don't wanna. It's scary. Buttons. <laughs> Roll a D three. Huh? Just go to the chateau. Okay. Excuse me, Mademoiselle Duha. <laughs> uh, down here? Oh god, mood! <laughs> <laughs> that hit a little too close to home there, mood. Ah, uh, right in the gut. Oh, <laughs> there you are. It's Sparrowson, right? I think I was Duha, right? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That's right. I heard about the case you were involved in. I never would have thought the Baron was a murderer. He always treated me with the utmost respect. <laughs> and I stole from him in return. <laughs> but then, I suppose it makes sense that the most ruthless killers are the ones who can put up the best facade. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Yeah, I, I suppose so. <laughs> hey, how's your friend doing? He seemed a little down last night. Uh, oh, you've seen him? Yes, he was brooding in the corner of Le Canard Joyeux, mumbling and drinking. It was a little depressing, to be perfectly honest. Jo Joyeux? What does that one mean? Joyeux, happy. Is, like... is it happy duck? Yeah. Right, what is canard? Okay. I'm saying canard's duck. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Uh, the canard joyo, 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 joy, joyo, joyo. Uh, that's the. No, I I can't do this. <laughs> joy X. <laughs> oh. oh. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Right, right in the gut there, huh? Buttons. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is like the no. fucking tortilla okay, so de tacos. I'm really bad. Did Coco just throw her headset off? <laughs> yes. What? No. <laughs> Coco went deaf from me trying to badly speak French. <laughs> okay. Le canard. How? How do you say? Joyo. 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 Okay. Uh, that's the dingy student bar on Rougeon, right? It's not dingy, just a little rustic. <coughs> <laughs> In any case, that's an enormous help. Thank you, mademoiselle. Anytime, Sparrowson. Wink wonk. Wink wonk. Hi, Shades. Hey, Shades. French is exceptionally confusing. Wait till you get the verb tenses. Oh, I don't want. No. Shit makes this... zero sense. It is back. This is why I went this is why I went with my weeb tendencies and started to learn Japanese. I know so actually I'm I'm currently learning how to tell time. Need to pick me up? Come along to Madame Cut oh. Canel? Yeah. Uh, that's that one I know only because of cooking. Madame Canel's student tavern on Rougeon. You're always welcome. The yellow it's it is a duck <laughs> tavern on Yellow Road. Oh. <laughs> this game kills me because I'm the only one that speaks French in the group. So everybody knows. So Scott I get the puns first the and it hurts me inside. <laughs> Good. Scott just says foie gras in the background. After well, I, oh, I, oh, oh, I hate foie gras. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, friend. Uh -uh. Ooh. No, you don't. No, you don't, Scott. <laughs> oh, Vap's here. Hi, Vap. Ugh, fuck. So gross. It's so fatty. I, Ugh. Well, ethically speaking, it's kind of... 
well, a fucking yeah. huge ethical dilemma. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we go uh, to Le, Car yeah. Le Canard. Yeah, Never have foie gras from what I've heard. I would rather not. Yeah, you know what? Well, I get I mean, that it's a like cultural... Liver? Yeah, I can't do liver. I don't. I yeah. can't even eat liverwurst. That's like... Not even liver at that I point. I can't remember the last time I had liverwurst. My mom gave it to me when I was a little kid, and I don't think I liked it at the time. Barrison steps through the doors of Le Canard Joyo, the dingiest student tavern in all of Paris. There's something about students and dive bars that just go so well together. I mean, you can't afford not- Oh my god, her hands! No! <laughs> I was waiting! I was oh, waiting! Oh, Coco, why? <laughs> You sent me the wavelength to look, and I looked! <laughs> hive mind, hive mind, hive mind. His nostrils filled with the pungent aroma of sour wine and bitter tobacco. At least Vap is suffering with me. Well, what? ruffle my feathers if it isn't Sparrowson. I haven't seen you in years. How you doing, hon? Good voice for this I'm character. I'm feeling pretty good, Madame Canal. Uh, thanks for asking. I'm actually here to find a friend. He's a big guy named J.J. Falcon. Why is it J.J.? Falcon? Yep, that sorry lump has been here all weekend. Is this because they couldn't figure out how to do an animal opium den? <laughs> Maybe they wanted to go a little classier, okay? <laughs> I can imagine the classier form of opium den is dive bar. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Dive Absolutely. bar. He's just been moaning and muttering to himself all weekend. Frankly, he's bringing the whole atmosphere down. I'll take care of him. Thanks, Madame Canal. It's no problem, hun. He's probably still in the corner of the drinking room upstairs. Oh. Fuck him, let's go play cards. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm bad at cards! That's the reason, not get Falcone. Well, it's I'm bad at cards. Like <laughs> okay? I know how this game goes. <laughs> you don't want to go get your husband? Let him suffer a little bit more? It's been like three days. Let's go get him. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um. Oh, side of him. Maybe I should have gone to the card room. <laughs> a single tear falls down his face. <laughs> Mon dieu! I almost stepped on the, the big fellow! What do you fucking mean? Probably uh, passed he's out, passed on, out the on the floor, yeah. <laughs> yep. God damn it. Uh, Falcon? What are you doing on the floor? Uh, hey, Falcon! Wake up! Uh. Wow, the bird's completely out cold. He must have drunk this place dry. Does he have a rose? He might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, how do you wake a drunk person? <laughs> All of those are pretty good. Honestly, my initial reaction mentally was pour a bucket of water on him, so I guess pour a drink on his head is the closest. Kind of like that idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, Falcon's been, uh, drinking himself away. Well, I guess it's time for a rude awakening. Well, it's better than your foot! <laughs> like... <laughs> wake you- oh my god, it sounds like- It sounds like he's peeing! I hate on him. <laughs> <laughs> wakey, wakey! Oh, no. Golden showers! No! <laughs> Listen. Listen. Coco, you said you were going to ban me for making the observation in my own stream, and then you're like, ha ha ha, golden showers. <laughs> that's because you mentioned the single I, one that's not allowed. I know, but maybe we maybe we should take water sports off the table as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear Scott? <laughs> the crazy noise. Fucking amazing. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, good, you're up. I'm just impressed that Sparrison can pee with his hands behind his back. <laughs> Scott's reciting his story about the kid in his class. <laughs> you know what's going? Just put like, Scott on mic. Even just put Scott on mic and have him tell that fucking story. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. 
Let me just invite him to the call real quick. <laughs> No, don't this invite is... him over. Just invite him to the call. Oh, oh, you want him to Scott, you physically have to move your body. If he wants to tell the but story, he, he has to, to move. He won't be able to hear you laugh, and that's, like, his payoff. <laughs> okay, I'll put him on the headphones, too. The old Scott, come here. streaming technology. Yeah, why do you have to move? Because because you're invited rules. to tell the story of the science. Okay. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna open the mic completely, though, for this. All right, we're on voice activity. Here you go. Oh, okay. Put those on. All right. Tell oh, your tell hello. It, tell hello. Your story. Tell the story to the stream. Okay. So this was like back when I was like I think just getting into middle school, and there was like a guy. He was I think he was an eighth grader. No way. Yeah. <laughs> and so like it was it was in the morning. We were waiting for the bus, and he had this like bird statue that he had made out of like foam and pipe cleaners and whatever and i noticed that on the front there was like it looked like little arms sticking out so i asked him like what are those he's like oh well i learned that all birds have tiny little arms hidden underneath their their chest feathers and i was like really how come we don't see him he's like oh well they're really good at hiding them and he's like well and i was like well, well what why do they need them and they're just like well how else are they going to make their nest and pick up things Oh, wow. Oh, Continue. wow. There's more to that. And, and then, uh, pretty sure he ended up getting an F because he did not, Aww. he never came home with the thing <laughs> and, uh, he never mentioned it again because it's like, oh, how'd you do? And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, so somehow this kid was tricked into. It was he, tricked. He probably had an older brother no or way. something in high school. Honestly, that was like, it oh, sounds yeah. like it sounds like old school Wikipedia when anybody <laughs> could edit shit. Yeah, but it was it was hilarious because this bird literally had two little like it, like bent pipe cleaner arms sticking out in front of it. <laughs> oh, <this is> <laughs> oh my god! Amazing! Oh my god! Public schooling oh failed god. that kid so hard. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you for your contributions to science. <laughs> I've returned. I need to close my mic now. <laughs> I'm, I keep almost leaving the call on accident. <laughs> I'm, I'm very bad at Discord. Oh my god. Vap says, thank you for story time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, but to tattle on him, he was telling that story to himself. Like, while we were streaming. <laughs> Okay, uh, are you with us, Falcon? I forgot the voice I gave him. Uh, <laughs> the grumpy one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Feeling sober? We should probably head back to the aviary office so we can get some work done. You know, because it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it, Sparrowson. Huh? I thought I did everything right. I followed all the procedures. I found all the evidence. I presented the case beautifully. And yet, a guilty feline walks free while an innocent man sits in custody. Sobs in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> I just looked in the, the, the four pixels Discord. <laughs> and and Vap put in cursed. You know what you did at, while adding cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's written wrong? Where is the justice? There's no such thing. <laughs> it's just ice. Oh. No, not that! No. <laughs> Ice in a cup! Come on, fuck! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, hey, Sparrowson, how are you gonna comfort your grieving, drunken husband? <laughs> oh, boy. Yes, Sparrowson? Hmm? How are you gonna comfort me? <laughs> well, I don't think I can speak of that on stream, because we're in, like... <laughs> you already peed on him on stream. <laughs> Listen here. That was non-sexual peeing. <laughs> 
this is also the game's fault for the fucking thing not having a bottle. Don't terms of service me, Banky. <laughs> Also, every time, every time Falcone gets like really fucking dramatic, my brain just hits Edgeworth like that's oh, him. Yeah, that's immediately. his burnt zona. <laughs> <laughs> Cravat and all. Oh my god, this is when he writes a letter to Sparrow and it runs away. <laughs> <laughs> and that Sparrow becomes a bitter fucking attorney on his own. Falcon chooses that shit. Do they fly on airplanes, though? Or do yes. they fly themselves? They Wait. fly on other birds. <laughs> okay, but hold up. What era is this buttons? My brain hurts. I can't do math. <laughs> uh, 18... Oh, yeah. Planes went... So, well, yeah. so hot yeah, air no. balloon? No, yeah. It'd be hot air balloon or a zeppelin. <laughs> Wait, what, what year is it again? 18-something. Okay. Let's just go with 1860 or something like that. I, we just saw the date, and I'm totally blanked on it. I know, right? <laughs> like 1878 uh, or something like that. Okay. <laughs> Zap says they fly on birds with wings, not hands. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a set. This is like the Pluto and versus fucking goofy discourse. One of them is an actual dog. The other one is a dog. Dog evolved. <laughs> These are birds evolved. Now we need a bird using a whip to come and seek revenge for her foolish brother. Oh. Oh boy! Oh, a little too real. Okay, but like seriously, there's a bird like that in um, had a full boyfriend. Is there fucking but not, really? Like, I've actually not she played had a full boyfriend. Fit friends, uh, like archetype. She's that that tough tough uh sister sort of trope. Gotcha. And, oh, um, the one that like drives uh, the the Sherman the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking adored her. I was so excited. <laughs> And then, and then she oh, rides man. off into the night with another, with a male bird, and I was very sad I could be a lesbian with her, despite <laughs> being a human girl. <laughs> I mean, I think there is a DLC where you can date her. No way! I stopped playing that <laughs> game after I tried another route, because I was like, man, this sucks. <laughs> the bird I picked sucked, rather. <laughs> which, which one? All right, well, we probably shouldn't focus yes. too much on this. <laughs> Too, too much bird well, we'll, we'll, we'll too talk much later bird after the bird stream. discourse <laughs> okay i want to say we need to try harder but that like because it, it kind of puts the onus on the two of them like this was like a master craft fucking like study of things I mean, okay two I was thinking about this earlier today because who actually wants to work when they can f focus on bird justice? I know, um, right? It's technically their fault because they didn't mm -hmm. out the... Well, not like their fault, but the trial could have gone differently had they outed the maid to the Baron because part of Falcone's argument was that the Baron willingly fed them a meal that they would need silverware for to put blood on their hands. Yeah. But and had the Baron been unaware of that, they would have known that the Baron was unaware of that. And that would have been removed from the argument. That's my thought. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about uh, <laughs> earlier in the stream when you were like, oh, yeah, there's like multiple endings. What if there is literally a line that we have just jumped off of that, like the main line, uh, like we're on a different line. And then there's a line where you actually successfully got her. Um, I don't know. Put in I'm kind of. I. I Hmm. It feels too big plot wise to have their yeah, be especially route with it. Especially because it sets up that whole justice thing. Yeah. Also, yeah, I and I it's that turn my big light on. Oops. Yeah. I feel like something that big would not happen at the very beginning of the game. Cause then that's just that much more that they extra content that they would need to come up mm -hmm. with. What if? If you get the full thing done, like you you get her tried, convicted, and and everything is great. What if the game just ends there? <laughs> what if what, what if, if the, the game ends there, there a, but you no, get no, like, a wasted screen? <laughs> yes, wasted your time. <laughs> So anyway, how are we going to come for the Falcon? I, I want to say we need here? to try harder because saying I don't know is not... 
because if, if Coco has a point, if we if we had been entirely straightforward with the person in question, um, you know. But then again, it's not really up to a, a lawyer to inform you of other wrongdoings that are ongoing. So it's kind of divisive. What? Ugh. Maybe we need to try harder? Try harder? I don't know if we messed up, or if the system's messed up, or what, but we just have to do our best as lawyers, I suppose. Maybe if we work hard enough, we can stop mess-ups from happening again. Okay, that's- that's- that's a- a mess here. Yeah. Sorry, Falcone. I don't have the answers. Every time! Phone! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, scared me. <laughs> I don't have the answers, but what I do have is freshly baked croissants from Pierre's bol boulangerie. Boulangerie. Sounds like lingerie. Croissants. Yep, they're waiting for you back at the aviary. What a good husband. I know, right? <laughs> I'm sitting here moping about justice and you offer me croissants. Oh, Sounds like, like a good trade. Y'all, <laughs> mm -hmm. y'all just skimmed over what I said. <laughs> oh, oh, chocolat! I didn't, I didn't hear you. I'm good. Sorry. Good. <laughs> oh my god! I had those when we were overseas. Those are so good. Chocolate croissants. Um, well, it's not just croissants. Uh, some. Okay, oh, mouth does not want to work for this. It's pain. Oh. Pain. Oh, chocolate. Choco? Yes. Yeah, it's pain o, ch pain o coco. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that feels accurate. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I never cause anyone any pain whatsoever. Shut the fuck up. You're a role player. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely nuked from fucking... <laughs> That's like 80% role playing is pain, the other 20% is smut, and then there's like 2% that's an occasional happy ending. Oh, happy ending. <laughs> yeah, take that as you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done with that line. I could go for pan de chocolate. Ooh. Fantastic, then let's make a move. Why, why do you guys say that? <laughs> Alright, I admit it. The croissants are amazing. Oh, I want them. I want a croissant so bad right now. I'm so hungry. Oh my god, it sounds so good. <laughs> I told you, Pierre's... Boulangerie. Boulangerie. On Rue Ver Verde? Verde. Green? Yeah, it's green. Verde? Verde? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was the same in French as it was in Spanish. Uh, It's just a slightly less hard... D-E at the end, so it's like mm. Blue Vealda, but you still say like a du mm. Because, you know, why make French simple? <laughs> it's something else. Oh, that reminds me. The the baker told me something interesting. Do you know what they call pan, pan au chocolat in America? I can't wait for this pun. Oh, oh god, <laughs> I would, I'm gonna die. Is this a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh reference? Oh, oh please. <laughs> oh please, I will take references over puns. <laughs> they don't call them pan de chocolate. No pronunciation difficulties. Oh man, you sure are saying what I'm feeling. <laughs> American is a whole nother language. Fucking this entire playthrough is a whole nother language. <laughs> yes, it is. So what do they call them? Chocolate croissants. I'm excused the fuck out of me. Um, the fuck? Uh, oh. Crispy. Oh my god. <laughs> Chocolate croissants. What do they call pro prof profito what? Profit profiteroles, I think. Profiteroles. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think those are still called profiteroles. 
but rather than custard, they fill them with ice cream and smother them in melted chocolate. Is that true? Because yeah. that sounds good. Oh, damn. They're really good. <laughs> Simply outstanding. <laughs> Is this the aviary attorney? Oh, I hope that Can I speak to someone, me? please? Well, what do they call crepes? Buttons, you're gonna regret this. Did you hear a dog whistle? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear something, Sparrison? Down here! Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. What can I do for you, little one? Uh, oh gosh. Where to start? Uh, your name, perhaps? Also, why are you not my size, given the fact that I'm supposed to be a sparrow? <laughs> Mousy! My name is Mousy! My name's human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what can we do for you, Monsieur Mousy? I have this friend. He has fallen under some legal turbulence. 